Hi, it's Pola from Pola Quilting. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, so time came that I need to prepare some gifts for the teachers for the year end and I usually try to make something myself. So uh, last year there were uh, cushion covers, the year before were small pouches and this year I thought I will make some uh, bags. So I did make some bags before, I will link it in the description below. Um, I use shirts, cutoffs and things like that. Uh, so I thought I will do something a little bit different this time and I will use some of my orphan blocks for this project. So those blocks I'm showing you now, it's something you should uh, kind of remember from my tutorials. Uh, I will link them in the description below. So I had some, you know, leftover blocks from the bigger pieces. So that will make nice front of the bag. And for the back of the bags, I kind of pull out some of my orphan blocks from from various boxes, so uh, some test blocks and things like that. And I'll just, again, put it all together. You can see this one is quite chunk, chunked out because middle is the uh, just a star. I was testing for something and then some uh, four patches and, you know, various bits and pieces. I just managed to put it together into something. Um, and those are going to be the back of the bags. Uh, so nothing complicated at this point uh, of time. Again, I will refer you to my other tutorial about making bags so you can kind of um, put your own front and back. I'll just sew it together, layer with the backing, which will be a uh, fleece, so you can use an old blanket for it or something like that. And um, Quilt it. I've got a few tutorials about easy free motion quilting or straight stitching quilting, which is obviously not straight. I am, you know, I'm not for the precision. precision so again, I will link it in the description below. And then uh, I will meet you at that point because I would like to try something new this time. And it's going to be putting the um, uh, pocket on the back with zipper in between the kind of front layer, which is what we're looking at, and the lining. So um, let me crack on with that piece of the process and then I will show you the next step. For after project comments and suggestions, stay till the end of this video. So what we need are two pieces of fabric. Uh, I am using 10 inch squares. I have marked one inch from the top edge of one of the squares. Uh, that is where the slit for the zipper is going to be. I have marked middle of the line and now we'll make a start and end of the slit. For my bag I decided I will go with six and a half uh, inches opening and my zipper is a bit bigger than that so it should you know, sit in nicely behind it. For uh, placing on the edge of the bag I decided to go with three inch from the top edge. I centered pocket uh, piece and pinned. Now I marked uh, an eighth of the inch from the uh, that slit line above and below it and you can go wider if you like you just need to make sure that uh, whatever the distance you choose the zipper will kind of you know you can still stitch it uh, on the back of it uh, this is how all markings look like I stitch on the outside lines all around and added uh, this additional cutting lines at, uh, at the corners uh, and that will allow to turn the fabric and have nice corners uh, on the front. I top stitch around the opening a uh, quarter inch. Time to attach the zipper. I pinned it and I again uh, stitch quarter uh, inch around it. It's good to use the thread with, which kind of blends with the fabric you're sewing on.
Now I can trim the zipper and add the second part of the pocket. Um, so just stitch around. I also did zigzag around to make sure the fabric will not fray. I know it's going to be inside the lining, but I, I like to finish uh, my uh, pockets properly. Uh, the rest of the process of the building the bag is the same as in my other tutorial, so I won't be showing you that here. The only difference is that I finish straps with bias tape. Okay, so let's have a look at the finished bags. They really came alive with this uh, designs uh, and quilting because uh, back and front are so different. You can choose which side you can show up depending on where, you know, what you wear or the mood you are in. So they, you know, the pocket sh should have been on the back, but really it doesn't matter. It, the both sides looking very good. I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial. I hope it will help you to put your own pockets in the bags. To support my work, uh, I would be very grateful if you subscribe and uh, please do not skip adverts when they pop up. If you make your own bag, please be sure to share it with uh, us on the Polar Quilting with Friends Facebook group page or by tagging me on the Instagram. Thank you for joining, thank you for watching and see you next time.